Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Hub back in the video day, and today the Kansas City Chiefs are re-signing Clyde Edwards-Alaire to a one-year deal. Now, this was a weird, you know, set of events for the Kansas City Chiefs today. Now, there's there's been a lot of weird set of events for the Chiefs lately with wide receiver Rasheed Rashi Rice's, uh, you know, with with his incident. You know, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to, you know get into someone's legal issues and we really don't know the full details. I'm here to talk about Clyde Edwards Alaire. But hey, the Chiefs have had a lot going on. I mean, obviously you have Rasheed Rice's issues and what he's dealing with. Then last late last night they signed Carson Wentz. He's the new backup quarterback for the Kansas City Chiefs. And he's gonna come in and the Chiefs are gonna have two MVP quarterbacks. That's that's great. It's nice to have a you know, a, a quarterback, I know, I know Carson Wentz is, after his injury, he's not been the same, and he's not that great of a quarterback, but I think, you know, especially what we saw from him in the 2021 season with the Colts, he was not bad at all, threw over 3,000 passing yards with the Colts, looked really good, threw 33 passing touchdowns, at, or no, that was 33-33 in the 17th season before he got hurt, but he was playing really good with the Colts before, you know, the, the disaster loss against the Jaguars. He's not terrible. He, he's not great. Um, but at times, he can be a really good quarterback. And I think for a backup type of guy, I think he's a really good backup. Um, someone that you know, if, Mahomes, if God forbid every, anything ever happens to Mahomes, you know, you got a guy who's won an MVP uh, before he got hurt, led a team to a 13, I believe it was. I believe they were... Uh, I believe they're eleven and two before he got injured. So, yeah, you, know, you you have you know a guy that's capable of winning and is capable of playing good football. Definitely has not been the same since his injury, but it's a good signing in my opinion. Definitely is a cheap deal as well. So then the next set let's let's go to the next set of events. This morning, the Chiefs are meeting with former first round pick for the Baltimore Ravens. J.K. Dobbins. I don't know. Was he for? I don't think he was a first round pick, uh, but he was an early draft pick for a running back at least. J.K. Dobbins meeting with the Chiefs. It's looking like he's going to be really signed to. It's going to be. He's going to be really. He's going to be signed really soon, whether it's the Chiefs or it's another team. And then about an hour later, then the Chiefs re-sign running back Clyde edwards alaire who is a first round pick for the. That I do know he was a first round pick. I'm not sure about Dobbins. But I am 100% sure Edwards Alaire was a first round pick. He's a two time Super Bowl champion. He, uh, 15 games and three starts with Kansas City in 2023, 70 rushing attempts, 223 rushing yards, one rushing touchdown. He also had 22 targets, 17 receptions, 188 receiving yards, one touchdown. He was really good in his rookie year in 2020, and then kind of then he kind of fell off a little bit. He had 803 rushing yards in 13 games with 13 starts and 181 carries, four touchdowns. Uh, also had 297 receiving yards and one touchdown. Now, I think really the you know I'm not gonna say he fell off or he played terrible because he just injuries are the problem. 13 games in 2020, so he missed. Three games, uh, back then sixteen game season, two thousand twenty the two thousand twenty one new rules in effect. Played ten games, so he missed seven. Uh, that year in ten games, he had five hundred seventeen carries. Sorry, five hundred seventeen rushing yards, four touchdowns, one hundred nineteen carries. So you think about it, you know, if he would have played a full seventeen game season, I think he would have been well over a thousand rushing yards. Just that's just what I'm thinking. Uh, two thousand twenty two season, it gets worse because at this point in two thousand twenty two. Uh, they have a guy like Pacheco who's who's emerged as he's a rookie and he's emerged and he's playing good football. This is a guy who was a late draft pick as well. I think he was fifth, sixth. He was either fifth or sixth, um, or maybe he was seventh. He was he was in the area of five to seven, and uh, he only plays ten games. Injury is a problem again, but he only starts in six of those. I mean, in the past you were seeing him start in every game he played. Now you're starting to see guys like Jerick McKinnon and also Isaiah Pacheco play better football. And it's, it's not looking good for him. He had 302 carries. He had, sorry, I keep saying carries, 302 rushing yards and three rushing touchdowns. And then you get to 2023. Pacheco's the full-time starter at this point because of how good he played and at the end of the 2022 season and in the postseason as well and the Super Bowl. So, uh, yeah. But he's still a good backup. If he's healthy, he's a good backup. I mean, that's the big question. 
can he stay healthy? Um, but you know, I'm I'm hoping he can stay healthy because you know, even though he is, you know, he is a guy that is, you know, a backup. He's not a starter. He's a he's a backup, solid backup. But can he stay healthy? Let me know your thoughts on the re-signing in the comment section and peace out.